Hey, we're Kaylin and Joseph, and we have been traveling in an RV full time for almost five years. Love that sound. But lately we have been slowing down the travel portion and trying to find work camping gigs around the country that will help us save for our dream trip to Alaska. But while we're trying to save as much money as we can, we discovered that our roof is in much worse shape than we anticipated. Hold there, hold there, giant hole there. And then a routine checkup for our rabbit Cody turns into a much bigger problem than we ever anticipated. Like, I guess I, we don't know the direction until they do the CT scan. Right. Good morning, it's travel day, and we already have a couple of issues. Huh. Conveniently, they're both in the same location. I'll get to you in a minute. Over here, you can see it's like dark. It's not, it's dried out, but we have a leak. It is really like squishy. You can see the walls squishing in. The only thing we can think of is maybe it's from the roof, which Joseph was planning on doing that project anyway. It just sped up the timeline. There's a bit of discouragement for me as far as that roof goes because I knew it was a potential issue when we left Mackinac City back in the end of September, but I was really hoping to be able to put it off until we finished our next work camping gig. So having to prioritize it now and add that extra expense means that that is money that won't be going towards our Alaska fund, which is a little frustrating, but you know what? It's all part of RV life. It's part of life. In fact, you know, you just think you're headed, you just think you're two steps forward and a big expense comes around. Now, when it comes to this one, we need another vet. If you remember a few videos ago, we were looking for a vet then too. We were in North Dakota and it was an eye issue. Let's look at your eyeball. Ooh, that looks angry. That's not the problem this time. It's definitely for sure the teeth. Cody has had dental issues since I think 2020. He just will not chew on one side of his mouth and rabbit's teeth will never stop growing. So that's why they chew on hay, that's why they chew on cords, because they're trying to wear down their teeth. Well, he will not do that on his right side. So every year we usually take him in to get his teeth filed and we know the symptoms because he starts slobbering and drooling all over the place. So it's been really bad for the past week. So we're like, all right, it's time. Even though it's not been a full year yet, we need to find a vet. The other thing that concerns me is that he's starting to like lose some hair because he's been drooling and it's drying out and just kind of making his hair fall out. So I definitely know he's uncomfortable and we have to get this taken care of pretty quickly. And just like before, we have struggled to find a vet that not only sees rabbits, but will also do dental surgery. Are there any other issues we forgot to tell them about? Anything we discovered in the... <laughs> well, we have a great water tank that leaks, but we knew that. And our tire is losing... More pressure. More. <laughs> more. Yep, our back tire on our truck has a tiny leak in the sidewall, so I can't patch it. I mean, it's super <sighs> tiny, but apparently it's getting a little bit bigger because it's losing about 10 to 20 pounds a day now, which is too much. So we gotta fix yeah, those. We need new tires, and I don't know at this point if we're gonna ever get to Alaska. And one more thing that I just thought of. We are still on hold for our next work camping gig. They're like, check back in a week to see if a spot has opened up. So we're starting to contact other companies, see if we can get in. We, we really need this gig to be able to make it to Alaska. And so we're just hoping that it works out for this winter, but still on hold for it as of now. Whoa, that's way off. Love that sound. Way. I just got done putting those in a pile. They're covered in ants. Goodbye, our beautiful boondocking spot. We're gonna miss you, but we must be off. So where are we going? The big state of Texas. It was actually a whole entire process to try to find a good campground spot. We did find a boondocking spot but not before thinking that we were gonna be in like the triangular area of Houston, Austin, and Waco because we obviously need to find a vet. 
vets are in big cities. The boondocking spots are not near big cities. So we're expecting we'll probably have to drive an hour and a half, two hours, whatever. But we couldn't find anyone to do dental surgery. So we decided to look at a spot that we had stayed before down along the coast for Anahawk Park. Cutest little park. Maybe on the south side of Houston, we would find someone. Nope, made a lot of calls. No dental surgery for rabbits. So we opened it up to the rest of the state. We finally found something on the west side of Dallas. And it's funny because the practice was actually started by a vet that I worked with in Miami as a volunteer for a house rabbit rescue. So that's just kind of a small world full circle moment. We said we were going to get out at nine this morning. It's now 10 15. <laughs> See how well that worked out. In our defense though, it is only a six hour drive today and that is including a dump station. So 10 o'clock gets us there by uh, four o'clock, right? 10, 11, 12. Hey, I did it right. However, we do have a stop for lunch. Do you have your passport? Why? She doesn't have her passport. I'll have to see if I can sneak her in. We're not near Canada and we're not near Mexico. But you need your passport. My mom has my passport. She's holding it hostage because she doesn't want us to go to Mexico. I'm gonna give you just one hint. We're going to have our lunch mm -hmm. at a super romantic foreign country. So a restaurant? Probably, we'll probably, we'll probably go with the Joe and Kaylin standard. You going to Tropical Smoothie? I did guess it, didn't I? We just paid $70.47 to completely fill up our 20 gallon tank. We haven't paid consistently under a hundred in so long. As a lifelong East Coaster, one thing that is always very hard for me to get used to as I drive out West is being on a road like this and the speed limit being 70 miles an hour. Out East, this would be a max 55. Absolute max. I think I guessed it. We're going to Paris, Texas because isn't there a little Eiffel Tower? Oh, you even know that. I even know of the Eiffel Tower. I know it's there. <laughs> oh, that's it? That's a lot shorter that's than it? I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh my word. So much for everything being bigger in Texas. The Eiffel Tower <laughs> is very much a miniature Eiffel. I think the one in, uh, in Vegas is bigger than this one. It is. It is so short. <laughs> Believe it or not, the Eiffel Tower was not the main reason we were stopping here. That was the secondary attraction. The primary attraction is a free dump station. <laughs> Doing the hole digging again. It is time to tackle the roof leak. I tried to convince Kaylin that it's beautiful, it's gorgeous outside, so it's, the roof's not leaking, but Sheets is telling me that the next time it rains, we'll have a leak. So, I've got to fix it. And, uh, while I'm at it, I'm discovering just how bad a shape this roof is in. We've had this RV for five years now and we've done something that you should not do and that is we haven't really touched the roof. The EPDM is starting to crack a little bit. The edges just aren't as in good shape. And where we do have a turn -up on tape, some of it's peeling up and cracking a little bit. So it needs a major overhaul. Today I'm gonna clean up all these sections where the roof meets the RV and we're gonna cover it with roof tape. That should 
hopefully fix our leak. And once we get to our next spot in Texas, we'll wash the whole roof and put a fresh clean coat on it. I am pretty sure our leak is coming in somewhere through right here, either through these cracks down into the joint right there, or possibly this Eterna Bond tape could have maybe damaged the roof somewhere in this location. So I think the leak is somewhere right in this general vicinity. So this is where I'm gonna start the project for the day. But ultimately, hopefully, we will get this whole thing taped off by the end of the day. Fingers crossed. I just discovered something that honestly, I am like just genuinely shocked. We don't have water pouring in the RV. But we've got hole there, hole there, giant hole there. The plan was to just get this taped off over the next couple days, uh, but I think we need to rethink that plan a little bit. So I don't know if you can see it, but up there, there's a tape and it goes along no, I see the, it. the whole distance. Is and that the new tape? That's the new tape. Okay. It's connecting the roof to the side of the RV. Still got three sides to go. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this became a bigger project than you were thinking. Yes, I was gonna, I was gonna say, <laughs> um, remember when I broke the truck? I may have caused a even bigger issue. If you actually cut the fuel line itself, that's that's a high pressure line. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and a one day repair turned into a three week repair. I'm hoping this that is this is three th days. That this is three days. Just check the weather. It's definitely supposed to rain on Saturday. 60% chance. So we are on a time crunch. Day two of the roof. <laughs> You're gonna tackle that. I'm gonna come in at you with a financial update. Do we make money? We made some money. <laughs> and we're putting some towards Alaska. Yesterday I got one side of the RV taped. Today I'm taping the other three sides. Now that I know what I'm doing, shouldn't take quite as long, although I am taking my time cleaning everything to make sure this tape sticks. stop for a minute so I can get in without being showered? No. <laughs> I've pulled up. You need a budget. They are not sponsoring this video, but I'll leave a link below in case you want a free trial because they're a lifesaver when it comes to tracking our spending and budgeting. Please ignore the streaky window. It's really bothering me too. But we did get our bonus check in from the Sugar Beet Harvest landed in our account. $541.26. It is a 10% bonus for second years. If you work the sugar beet harvest your first year, you get a 5% flat bonus. And then if you come back the second year, like Joseph did, you get 10%. The important part is though, how much are we saving towards Alaska? We're gonna put $500 in our account, bringing us up to 2,000 of the $15,000 saved. And that might not seem like a lot, but we just solidified our next work camping gig. I know at the beginning of this video everything was up in the air we were on hold but now we are committed with a company so make sure you subscribe because on our next travel day we're going to give you all the details about it and it should allow us to save for alaska much faster so about those streaky windows the first step of re-waterproofing the rv has been to completely wash the roof and by completely i mean scrub dump water more scrub dump water but that has resulted in how do we say this? Very streaky windows. In fact, the whole RV is just streaky with dirty roof water. And the problem with using so much water is we're boondocking. So we don't have continuous access to water via hookups. We have to bring in our own and we only have 80 gallons of it, which seems like a lot until you start cleaning the roof. So we have to go get more. <laughs> this is our what? Third trip getting water? Yes. The thing is, it's not like we could do this project inside a campground because most campgrounds have rules that you cannot use their water to wash your truck or wash your RV. So it's like a catch-22. We can't do the project in a campground, but if we do it outside of a campground at a boondocking spot, then we have to go get water every single day. This particular area is the, called the Tadra Point. Tadra? Yeah, Tadra Point Trailhead. It's a big horse trail, and so 
there's going to be there's lots of horse trailers here there's lots of campers we're also here right in the middle of hunting season so there's also a lot of hunters but what is most important is that there is water it's kind of funny because we had no idea this park existed and joseph was driving by it one day and he was like i wonder if there's water up there and there was usually we find water on the i overlander app that's been really good to us in telling us where there's free places to dump free places to fill so it's every boondocker's best friend. And I don't care how many people tell me what the right way to say this is, you cannot convince me that that should not be potable, not potable. Just so you're aware, we do not drink this water. This is only in our faucets so that we can take showers and do dishes and apparently clean our roof. We just got in the car got a notification that blew us away and was not expected at all. I don't have words. I don't have words. Yeah, here, here's the notification yeah. I got. So we just, I guess YouTube has this thing called Super Thanks. And so we just want to actually send a thanks <laughs> Super back. Thanks. Yeah, oh send goodness. a thanks back to SD just for believing in us and helping us get to Alaska because that's where we're putting this. We're putting it straight to the Alaska Fund. And, and I was telling... We did do YouTube for two reasons. Number one, we just want to document and see, provide entertainment for people. And the second reason, yes, of course, we want to see some income from it. Mm -hmm. We want to see the ad revenue come in, but we never expect anyone to like give us money. Like we just want to yeah, provide entertainment. We're not here like begging you for no, money. So. No, we, this is just out of the blue, completely unexpected. Yeah, and, and if we feel discombobulated, it's because we're still trying <laughs> to process this. So thank you for helping us get to Alaska. We're putting in a penny, rounding it up to a hundred. So now we're at $2,100 of our $15,000 goal. Thank you so much. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Well, I'm not sure how to transition from that back to the RV roof project, but let's give it a shot. We're gonna attempt to put these on the roof. Six gallons, you said they are? Six gallons. Before we get on the roof, I'll just say a quick note about this boondocking spot, which has just been so pretty and so much solar. It has been so nice here. It's west of Dallas, outside Decatur, Texas. And if you look on Campendium, which is where we find all our free boondocking spots, it's called Forest Road Dispersed 904 or 905. I'll look it up and put on the screen which one it is. After we hauled all that water onto the roof, Joseph convinced me to come up and help him so we could finish this project a little bit faster. We cleaned and we taped, we cleaned and we taped some more, ending with Joseph showing off his epic caulking skills. Let us know in the comments if you hate caulking as much as he does. The roof is starting to look better though. We're sitting inside waiting for the die core to dry and probably like a half hour ago or so, we heard it sprinkling. Well, that rain threw us for quite a loop. We got everything up here clean, we got it taped. Honestly, the, the leaks should be sealed. The roof is still in rough shape and we want to get this on here. However, I don't wanna make a mistake and I'm afraid with it having rain just a few minutes ago and then it's gonna rain again probably at five that rushing this is going to potentially cause more problems. You made me put these on because <laughs> I was supposed to go on the roof and you're like, don't come up in sneakers. Yep, I wanted you to wear sock off, feet. But make sure you have socks on. So now I look- So don't judge Kaylin for her Florida sock feet while we continue to talk. <laughs> no, I know you didn't feel comfortable with it and it just sucks because, well, you put a lot more work into the roof than I did. This was like the project that we both tackled today together all day. Yeah. And so it's just really disappointing. We honestly, we're gonna do it. We're like, we gotta get it so we can put it in the video. And, and it's just like, no, you, got, you can't do projects like this for the wrong reasons. And uh, we just need this to survive at least one more rainstorm. And then we'll get to it in a, we'll get to it at some point here very soon. We have all the materials. You ready to go get out into shoes that aren't I'm, flip flops and yes, socks? Yes, and I'm cold because the sun's gone. <laughs> you ready for your big day, Cody? Actually, it's not his big day yet. This is just a wellness exam. We think surgery may be in his future. Come on, buddy. It's time. 
I'm just nervous that we're gonna meet Dallas traffic and be late. Oh, I think we'll, we built in a half we hour. We built in time, but. So, we, I think we'll be fine. They sent paperwork via email and I already filled that out. So hopefully there shouldn't be too much prep work when we actually get there. Shake. Yeah, he sneezes quite a bit. Yeah. Do not jump off. She called you cute? Handsome. Did not get news that we were hoping for. We were hoping it would just be a simple teeth trim, which is a couple hundred dollars generally, and then out the door. But it turns out it looks like he might have an abscess uh, deep in his mouth. We're not sure. And so to be sure and to find out what's going on they have to do an actual ct scan so the ct scan what i kind of want to know is if they end up like i guess I, we don't know the direction until they do the ct scan right. so right now we're just kind of holding our breath to know what the final toll financially from this is going to be we're waiting to get them back we're actually going to eat some lunch now and then we'll uh, touch back as soon as we get more information Sure, not a problem. Sounds good. All right. CT's done. We go over at 3.30 to go over the results. Obviously, you guessed that the, the appointment did not go as we expected. We get, we got the CT scan done, um, and it just turned out that we weren't dealing with the typical annual teeth trimming that we are used to dealing with. The vet saw a mass that she was concerned about, so that's why they did the further testing, and then she came back with it's most likely a bone cancer, she called it osteosarcoma. And it later we found out that it does happen in rabbits, usually like in their face, jaw area. He is almost nine years old. So of course, like the risk for things like cancer increases as he gets older. But I think the biggest shock for both of us is that is the time that we were told yeah. we have left with him. Yeah, the doctor, we, we were asking how much time do we have? And she said, without hesitation, months. Mm -hmm. um, and that was not something we were expecting going into that doctor's visit. Uh, so now we've got him, I guess we should say there was a, a surgery option, um, yeah. but we said no to that for the reason that it, it would remove half his face uh, and it would require ongoing surgeries every six weeks or so, which is not something that yeah. would be good for him. And even the vet, the vet was very much like, here's a surgery, but I don't recommend it. Yeah, it's not even like the financial implications of it. It's more the quality of life right. implications for him. And so right now we're just really focused on giving him that best quality. He's on a couple pain meds and an antibiotic just to try to slow down the growth as much as possible. And we have seen a positive change yes. in him. Like even though this is a hard time and a hard thing to accept, it's been really like great to see him happy again. Yeah, he had been in some pain. We didn't really realize how much potential pain he had been in. And so these pain meds are really knocking that down. And yeah, he's been hopping around the RV, binking more often than he used to. Yeah. So and we feel bad that he was kind of in pain for a little while, but we feel happy now that he's more perked back up. We'll, we'll do what we have to do to keep him comfortable for however long yeah. that we have him. I mean, that's really the only choice we have right now, just to appreciate um, the time we have had and the time that we will have with him. So we just want to thank you guys for watching, caring, loving on us. The comments, it, the comments mean the world. When you guys are so encouraging in the comments to us, we really debated as to whether or not to even post this video. Mm -hmm. And just, I don't know, it, 
we show you the ups and downs, as you said, and... And we don't want to leave you on this downer. Yeah. Like we, we hope that we try to make you laugh and just try to be a fun watch for you. But this is also real life. And, and, and anybody who yeah. has had a pet understands mm -hmm. and has been there. And so, yeah. So we thank you guys for watching and... We'll be sharing lots of clips of him. We'll be loving on him, giving him lots of treats. And we'll see you guys in the next video.